Pruitt Homes and William Igo Apartments, known together as Pruitt Igo, were a joint urban housing project first accompanied in 1954 in St. Louis, Missouri. The complex consisted of 33 11-story high-rises and was constructed with federal funds on the former site of slum housing as a part of the city's urban renewal program. The project was originally intended to be racially segregated. A Supreme Court ruling forced the project to be entered. Substandard housing, slums, were considered a serious problem at the turn of the century, and now as they were getting to the age of television, there were people still using outhouses in the heart of St. Louis, living in buildings without central heat and running water. When occupants first arrived at Peronigo, they felt a pride as if they was moving into a showplace of St. Louis. But all was not as it seemed. Shortly after being open, Pruitt Igo started to decay, and things quickly took a turn for the worst. When the temperatures dropped below freezing earlier this week, water lines in several of the Pruitt Igo apartment buildings broke, and a subsequent flow of water turned into ice. Today, as temperatures warmed, the ice thawed, and residents continued to battle the resultant mess. At 2311 Dixon, a sewer line is broken, and now raw sewage bubbles out of the ground like a malevolent spring. In the building itself, residents and maintenance crews are working to clean up the mess. Elmer Hammond, chairman of the Human Development Corporation Neighborhood Advisory Council, has tried for three days to get city and housing authority officials to help remedy the plight. Well, I have tried to, I have talked with Mr. Meeker, I've talked with uh, Board Wilson of Housing, uh, asked him to, about this here situation for the last two days. And uh, Mr. Meeker called me and said he'd talk He's with He's in me. the mayor's office. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said he'd called Mr. Klein, and Mr. Klein was supposed to send someone in, and no one ever showed. And the only alleviation of this problem that I have received thus far has been from HDC for Mr. Cahill. What sort of assistance did you get from the Human Development Corporation, Mr. Cahill? Well, uh, through the petty cash that I discussed with Mr. Cahill, he sent out and bought me three electric heaters and were sent down to the uh, 2107 cash for us to distribute to these uh, families that had no heat in the their buildings on O'Fallon. In addition to the water, what, uh, how many families are without heat at this point? Well, I would say right now approximately uh, 40 or 50 people right now. And it's possible that it will go higher than that before the, the day is gone. What's the likelihood that you're going to be able to remedy this? Well, the only thing I can do now is try to get a hold to the housing authority people and some of the city officials and see if we can get these people out of this building immediately. They cannot stay in there over the night with these children. With the temperatures dropping as nightfall, the residents here in Pruitt Igo will probably be frozen in again. Then tomorrow, should the temperatures warm up, the water will come back. And so it'll go until somebody comes in to remedy the situation. Fred Porterfield, Big Four News from the Pruitt Igo apartment.